Hi everybody, I'm Daphne Gonzalez from Universidad Simón Bolívar in Caracas and it is a pleasure to be with you here today. In this workshop we will be talking about podcasting and voice email. Language teachers around the world are incorporating online components to their face-to-face -face classes to offer students the opportunity to communicate with speakers of the language worldwide. To take this challenge, teachers need to learn to take the best from the web tools available. The new approaches to education claim for multidirectional interaction, which is even more relevant in language learning if we want to promote negotiation of meaning, a crucial aspect in language learning. Not many years ago, it was very difficult to teach listening and speaking in blended and online courses since most of the applications available were mainly to promote reading and writing. In this workshop, I will be showing some examples of how some voice applications can be used to enhance listening and speaking. And you will also learn hands-on how to use some of these tools to enable voice communication through the Internet. We will be dealing with voice email and podcasting with the use of different applications freely available online. Do you use web tools to teach listening and speaking? I would like to hear about your experiences. I have been using uh, voice tools for a while and I'm going to tell you about uh, the ones that I use with my students. None of them recover, require downloads. They can be used from any computer connected to the Internet. SpringDo is an application that allows recording messages to be sent to any email account. The recipient will get a URL to the recording. This URL can be posted to any web page, blog, or wiki. Video is also allowed in this application. My Chingo generates a code to embed the application in blogs, wikis, or web pages. The messages can be listened to by going to your My Chingo account, or if you make them public, they can be heard on the board you have embedded. These messages can be downloaded to your hard disk, a CD, or an MP3 player. Vaestro is a voice forum where you can hold discussions as you do in a text-based forum. And Podomatic is a blog for podcasting, that is, MP3 recordings available on the web which can be downloaded to MP3 players or on a personal computer. In Podomatic you can also use video. And finally, Bubbleshare is an application where you can create stories with images and voice. Okay, now to see how these uh, applications can be used, click on the images below and you will be taken to different sites where students have been uh, using uh, these tools. Well, it is time for some action now. You will be doing your own recordings with this application that I have been talking about, my Shingo, Spring Do, Vaestro, and Podomatic. And you're going to reflect on how we can use these tools with our students. Let's uh, We can work in groups, individually, or in pairs. Let's see how uh, it goes.